feeling hashtag forced to vote that none of the progressives in Congress are willing to fight for anything. Uh, and that's why we have the country we're in. There is no left in America. It's crazy. The left in America, you got half of them saying, wait for a, a vo for, to force the vote for Medicare for all. What the fuck? That's why, that's why we live in a country where 80% of the workers live paycheck to paycheck and we're the richest country in the world. Now 80 million people are underinsured. Add 15 million more on top of that. That's 95 million people in America with no insurance or underinsured. That's almost a third of the country ha is underinsured or has no insurance right now. And we can't even get a vote for Medicare for all on the floor. And half the people who consider themselves left are against Medicare for all getting a vote. What do you say to that? Well, first of all, there's a lot of people that I've seen. I was away on a doing a, re a reporting trip on, on a story, but I come back and I see you're you're trending, and there's a lot of people calling you naive and other things. But the thing that stands out to me, they're calling you naive, but they thought a unity commission would solve this. <laughs> they, they they thought that you. I mean, I, I you know I know some of the people on there. They're you know they're not bad people, but I think we need to start looking at who is naive here, because you're not dealing with you know, uh, good faith ar arbiters here. No. You're dealing with, you know, immoral corporatists. Yes. You're, you're dealing with warmongers. You're dealing with, and yes, there are some restraints on progressives, but right now, I mean, I had my editor make a graphic. I don't know what these people are talking about that we don't have the numbers because we do have the numbers. Of course. Nancy Pelosi has a four seat House majority. It might go down because there's two outstanding elections, one in Iowa and one in um, New York that haven't been called yet. Uh, that Republicans are narrowly leading. She's got a four seat majority and you have seven current hardcore capital P. I don't go with this progressive caucus hundred. No, most of them are frauds. But you got AOC, uh, Ilhan Omar, Rashida Tlaib, um, Diana Presley, Ro Khanna, Pramila Jayapal, Mark Pocan. He's in the Medicare for all caucus. So that's seven right there. And, that, uh, and then you got Cory Cory Bush and Jamal Bowman coming in. So there's yeah, two you more. Got four more coming in. Cory so Bush, Jamal Bowman, Marie Newman and, and Mondaire Jones. So to me, I, I understand that they think it's not going to pass and it probably won't. But the point is, that's not the measurement of why you should do things. Like I wasn't around, you weren't around, but like, do you think Martin Luther King and Harvey Milk and like Gloria Steinem and all these leaders were like, let's not protest, it's not gonna pass tomorrow. Let's <laughs> not do things because it's not immediately gonna pass. Things ultimately, you get the ultimate victories from a lot of losses that lay the groundwork. But to me, I don't understand these people talking about, well, yeah, let's let's make a demand, but for a committee seat. <laughs> like, let's make a demand for these things. Um, no, I mean, right now, are you going to have a better opportunity than a deadly pandemic that killed 320,000 people so far? Jeez. That nope. you have over 50, over 50 million have no insurance now? Like, do they see another pandemic that coming? I mean, I don't understand. To me, there's a lot of benefits. Um, maybe you've talked about it, but even if it doesn't pass right now, you get those people on the record and then you have a huge political weapon to go after them in TV, digital ads in 2022. It's exactly. I your... mean, this is politics 101. And I think there's another problem that's really, uh, to me, frustrating. When did the progressive movement become like a, a meritocracy that you need a special badge to propose something? I mean, whatever. You and I don't agree on everything, but like AOC even tweeted out that I haven't gotten the demand from offic official movement leaders. Yeah. Like, again, no disrespect. Who 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 gets to be the official movement leader? I mean, you've mentioned I thought anyone could petition their government. That, that's how it's supposed to, it's supposed to work that way. And I don't know if you've ever heard. I don't know, uh, Jordan, what your history is, your work history, but. Uh, I worked uh, with bricks. I was a bricklayer tuck pointer for about 15 years. Uh, and I don't know if uh, those people who are, are my critics, if they ever got within uh, two feet of an actual worker, they would punch them in the face if they heard them talk the way they talk. Nobody talks like that who's a worker. So a worker wouldn't be allowed to lead a if he doesn't have a political background, an actual worker wouldn't be allowed to do a Medicare for all, but it's just, it's the nut. It's, it's crazy. People are revealing themselves and I don't even have to lift a finger and people are revealing themselves to be neoliberals on purpose, right? These are, 
These are people who are all looking for MSNBC contracts if they don't already have them. So those well, are, they're, they're being revealed. They're fake. Just like Jenk Uger, who got his $20 million from Clinton donors. And now and he says, let's we got to fight Pelosi. Just not right now. Not right now. We got to fight Pelosi. Not now. Hey, I've been he said he's been we've been pushing. We've been pushing to get rid of Pelosi for two years, but not right now. So it's very suspect, and he won't. And he's lying about hashtag forced to vote, which makes me think he's taking money to do it because he takes money from the Clinton donors, lots of it. And then he his pressure campaign is to get people who are poor uh, to give him money in the middle of a, a depression and a pl- pandemic. That he's sending out three, four, five emails, creating a false sense of uh, of panic. Oh my God, we need tw- ten thousand dollars before midnight. So that's the pressure campaign that Jake Uger's doing while he lies about hashtag forced to vote because he must why else would he be he's 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 not that stupid but uh so that's why it doesn't make sense that he would be wrong then not correct it so that's what makes me think there's another round of funding coming his way and that's why he's deranged so he's got gold-plated health care i told him jenk why don't you just drop your health care until we get medicare for all and see if you want them to vote on it now or not if you drop your health care and you and say i'm going to drop my health care and tell them to not vote on medicare for all then you would be consistent you can't keep your health care and tell everyone else to wait well, uh, I could go on for four hours about Mr. Uger, but I'll tell a quick story uh, that I think is applicable. Um, this is why I'm with you on this and why I think Jank and the others are wrong. So about uh, November 2017, uh, you know, I was let go from the Young Turks. Everybody knows the history. I won't relitigate it. Uh, you were very supportive during that time. Uh, around the same time I was fired, I started having debilitating back problems. Um, I had been traveling at Standing Rock and the campaigns, and it it was getting progressively worse. But it got to the point about December, January 2018 that I couldn't walk. I had severe muscle spasms down my leg, uh, my hamstring, my calves. I cu- I had no feeling in my foot, and I didn't I didn't have health care at that point because I'd been laid off by the Young Turks. And my only options were Obamacare, which I couldn't afford in New York. It was like $800 a month, or Cobra, which is the biggest scam on the planet. So I went to the, I, I got an MRI, I, it's my, uh, my disc, my lower uh, L5 disc was basically jammed onto my sciatic nerve and a piece of my disc broke off. It was stuck. I didn't even know there was such a thing as a spinal cavity, but it was stuck there. And that's what was causing the spasms and my foot to go numb. So they told me like, you need surgery very soon, or you're not going to get feeling back in your foot. So Thank God. I mean, I'm fortunate that uh, most people aren't, but my parents stepped in. They helped me afford Cobra. I had to dip into my savings to split it with them because it's like $650 a month on Cobra before deductibles, co-pays, all that. And I got the surgery, which basically, I mean, I still can't feel one of my toes, but at least I got the rest of my foot's feeling back. And even with Cobra, even with the insurance, I got a $3,000 bill for that surgery. And then a year later, I had to have another surgery uh, because the first surgery didn't get the entire disc fragment that it broke off. So I heard your story yesterday, which was a lot more severe than mine. But like most people are not fortunate like I was to have parents that stepped in to split Cobra with me. I had a little savings. So, you know, with all due respect to these other people, I'm pretty sure they have good health care. I, I believe Jenk is now a millionaire, so I'm pretty sure he has good health care. I don't want to say they're bad people, but I think they're deeply out of touch with what's going on here. And frankly, uh, AOC and these other people, you know, I'm not ranting and raving that they're sellouts, but what exactly are you, what are you doing? We don't have 20 years to wait for you to become the committee chairs. We don't have 20 years to wait. You know, they're talking about, wait, let's, instead of uh, forcing the vote on Medicare for all. Let's force it on $15 minimum wage. Well, that's already passed the House. Biden rhetorically says he wants it. And by the way, even if it passed tomorrow, they're going to do it in a neoliberal way that staggers it. Yes. You'll get $15 minimum wage in like five to six years. Yes. I just, I've not, I've not heard a good faith, valid um, rebuttal of you other than we hate Jimmy Dore, he's Lucifer and all this. And whatever, sometimes your 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 style is different than mine but the idea is the idea and it's it's right and i think it could be a major benefit even if it doesn't pass right now to get even more progressives elected in 2022 i mean medicare for all in every single state during the democratic primary including mississippi by the way had majority support 
it's growing in Fox News poll to have majority support among Republicans. So I think it's ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know if they're just they're just wrong or Washington has made them soft or, or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm all, I'm with you, and I think I think we need to force the well, vote. J- you know, you know, Jordan. If it wasn't uh, if if it, if it wasn't my style, my bombastic style, they, they would make fun. They, it would be my glasses, or it would be my shirt, or I went to high school. They'd find some reason to dismiss that. Or like AOC said, she's like, he's not a real grassroots a- uh, activist. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a background in political theory. <laughs> well, so, she was a bar she was a bar she was a bartender ago, and that's why people loved her. So. That's exactly, what does that mean? That's exactly right. She was a bartender. I was a bricklayer and a comedian. What the fuck? Where, that's see, that's the problem with people who think they're Marxist theorists. They have no idea what workers are actually like. They have no idea what it's like to to actually converse with workers, uh, and they have no idea. And that's why I say if those people who think they're Marxist theorists got anywhere near actual workers, they'd hit them in the face with a fucking trowel and say, "Get out of here, you douchebag." Uh, <laughs> hey everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program, get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video.